Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Nomad here. So if you're clicking on this video, more than likely you are about to start your journey into Escape from Tarkov, or you've already started it, and you maybe need a few tips to help you along the way. So today, I'm going to give you five tips that I wish I would have known before I actually played this game. Starting off with tip number one, your scav runs. I cannot stress to you enough, do not shoot other scavs if you do not have to, unless you're shot at first, or that's really it. Just don't shoot the scabs. This guy is a good example, even if it's a computer. Don't shoot them. Your scab rep is gonna go down and it's going to hurt you in the longer run of the game. Because eventually, you're going to run out of money. It's gonna happen. It happens to the best players, it happens to the worst players. But when you run out of money, those scab runs are gonna be what gets you back to the top. But if your scab timer is so high because your scab karma is low, because of those scabs you killed, you will suffer and suffer and suffer. And it will not get any better. Now for those that don't know how scav karma works, if you're a PMC, it's completely okay to kill scavs. Kill as many of them as you want. But if you're a scav on your scav run, you cannot kill other scavs without a consequence being attached to it. So don't do it. Because you kill scavs, scav karma goes down. Scav karma goes down, scav karma cooldown goes up. So let's talk about the second tip I have for you guys. Gear fear and death. We'll throw into one tip. So. You're gonna have gear fear, meaning you're gonna be scared to take your best gear in terrain. You're gonna wanna hold on to it. And it's gonna be like that until you get comfortable enough to actually play the game and not care about it. Until you understand that this game is a constant rotation of losing stuff, gaining stuff, and then losing stuff again. And that's all it's ever gonna be. So don't be afraid to take in your best weapons in or your best kits or your best Kevlars, whatever the case may be, and just play, man. You're gonna lose it, but I guarantee you later on in the raid, stuff is gonna come back to you and you're gonna be in the same spot you were before. So just play the game. And understand that in the beginning of the game, you're gonna die a lot. I died a lot. Even the best streamers on this game died a lot. So it's okay. It's okay to get frustrated with it. It's understandable. But just learn from how you died. Learn from the rounds you got shot at, maybe the angles you got shot at, what you could have done differently, and you'll do better the next time. I guarantee you will. But just try not to get too frustrated with it and not give up on the game so soon because we all went through the same process you're going through. I promise you. Let's talk about tasks. Task is the third tip. You need to pay attention to your tasks. They unlock different traders, weapons, give you ammunition, give you XP, all sorts of things. If you ignore these tasks, it's going to hurt you in the long run as well as the short run. Now, if you haven't hit level 15 yet and unlock the flea market, these tasks will be crucial for you getting into that flea market. The flea market helps you so much when it comes to weapons building or buying things you need for your hideout or anything underneath the sun in Tarkov. This brings me to my fourth tip, your hideout. Don't neglect your hideout. Your hideout can make you a lot of rubles if you put the time and money into it. So if you get that Bitcoin farm up and get enough GPUs, you can be making Bitcoins, having profit, I think every day or every one to six days. On top of that, you can get scav cases, have scavs go out and get random loot or junk for the return to you. Sometimes it's really good. Most of the time it's good, but sometimes you get the, the rare shitty ones. And also on top of that, you can craft meds, food, it's a booze generator, and you have like quicker recovery times. So the hideout is a very good thing to put money into. Do not neglect it. Which brings me up to my fifth and final tip, maps and extracts. So currently on Escape from Tarkov, there are eight maps. The eighth one being labs, which requires you to have a labs tarot card to go into. I do not suggest, even if you get one in a scav run, it happens sometimes, going into this map as a new player. You're just going to waste your time. Extremely good players play this map. And sometimes a lot of hackers have been known to play this map too, so I would stay away from this map. Pick one of the other seven maps and just play it all the time. You have a better chance of learning these other maps and being proficient at them and learning the extracts rather than going to lab and being able to play it every once or twice just because you don't have enough rules to keep buying error cards to get in. Say you want to play this map, but you don't want to deal with the other players. You just want to play the map, learn the map, learn the extracts so you can be good when you go in. Easy tip to do. Pick a time, don't hit ready, hit next. Enable offline mode for this raid. Don't enable PvE, no, ra no random time, no random weather conditions unless you want them. And just go explore the map. Double tap O when you get in, look at your different extracts, pull up a map on your phone, run in your second monitor if you have one, and just look where the extracts are. Look at major terrain features, look at major buildings, things that stand out, 
and just explore the map. That's why when you go into raid the next time, you kind of know where you're at and you can have a better chance of getting out with your loot and the stuff that you came in with. That's going to be it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if any of these tips helped you or you any of the tips you know you wish you would have known before actually playing Tarkov. And thank you again for the love and support. We had doubled subscribers in the past month and I cannot be thankful enough. As always, take care and have a good rest of the day. Peace.